Hi there, everybody. Welcome again to Z Coach Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big every time. It doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we've got you covered. So we're going to get into some NFL for week five. Before we do, I want to invite you to join so you'll have access to the VIP club section, which has everything you need to make your picks. Okay, so we're going to take a look here. There are six games we want to look at, so we'll get started here. Uh, New York Giants at Green Bay Packers. If you notice here, at the very beginning, it says Green Bay 79% to 21% chance of winning. The score prediction has the Packers 34 to 19 with confidence in prediction of 49%. If you take a look here at the last, uh, the trend over the last several weeks, the Giants are average up. You can see that they have won three out of their last four. While well, the Packers are burning hot, they are 3 and 0 over their last three. If you look at the uh, odds, it's 7.5 points in favor of the Packers, 1.260 odds to 3.5, and the over-under is set at 41.5. So you notice the score prediction is higher than the over-under, so take a look at that as it gets closer to the game to see if that prediction has changed at all. Okay, now on the power ranking indicator, you can see on this chart here, the Giants were at 28 and they dropped to plus 15 while the Packers were at plus one and they have skyrocketed up to plus 25 so you notice the changes there. Um, if you take a look at the money line let's see what has happened over the course of the week you can see it started here at 1.26 and you notice that there was some movement up and down so take a look at that that's very important to look at but now the most important thing is where it is now and it's pretty much right exactly where it started. So in the end here I like this game going over the line I like the Packers to win at home. Okay, the next one we want to look at as we scroll down through here is the NFC North battle, Chicago and Minnesota. You know Chicago is 1-2 and two over their last three, and you look at the trend for Minnesota, they have won three out of their last four, which uh, translates to the burning hot status and average for Chicago. Um, the odds here, if you take a look at the odds, this will make sense to you if you look at this. 1.26 for Minnesota to 3.76 for Chicago. That translated to a line of minus 7.5 with the over under 43.5. The score prediction indicates a huge favor for Minnesota as well, 37 to 14, with confidence in prediction of almost 80%. And if you look over here on the left, you see that the percentage chance of winning was 71% for Minnesota, 29% for Chicago. If you take a look at the power rankings indicator, you can see again, you see an upward trend for Chicago, 14 to 24. And Minnesota is at plus five. Um, if you take a look at the stability factor, how consistent are the two teams perform? You can see the linear upward trend for uh, Minnesota at plus four and a linear upward trend for um, Chicago at plus two. So Minnesota has pretty much been doing what they're supposed to do all season long so far. Take a look at the money line. You see, it really hasn't done a whole lot. It went from minus uh, one from 1.3, and it's at 1.26. So in the end, this was a good one to take the Vikings by double digits in a game going over. Um, the next one we want to look at is um, so we scroll down through here. Huge slate of games, and you see it's the full schedule. Big, so I think there we go. San Francisco and Carolina. If you take a look at this one here, this one looks like all San Francisco 28 to 4, uh, 17 in the score prediction with confidence of about 66 percent. And that's right about where we see over here at the side with uh, with San Francisco with a 65 percent chance of winning. If you look at the status, they are average at the moment with wins in two out of their last three games. The only one was an 11 to 10 loss to uh. Denver and Carolina's ice cold down. They have lost three out of their four. Um, you see that both teams have been playing a game under the line, all four games for San Francisco and three out of the four for Carolina. But the odds are heavily in favor of San Francisco. You see here 1.34 to 3.22, and that translated to a line of minus 6.5 with an over under of a very low 39.5. So take a look at that very carefully. On the power ranking indicator, you can see here the downward trend for the 49ers. They were at plus 25. They are now at 15. 
And you see the upward trend for Carolina that went from 4 to 12. Uh, if you take a look at the volatility, both teams are pretty much very mediocrely uh, as far as stability goes, just at zero. Let's take a look at the trend over the week. Um, let's see. San Francisco, they opened at uh, 1.51. You can see there's been a change, but this change upward trend, and now they are at 1.34. So they are even a stronger favorite than they were before. I like the 49ers to win, cover, and go over the line. The line is just too low at 39.5. I believe it'll go at least four or five points higher than that. Okay, next one we want to take a look at is. Dallas and the Rams. Dallas enters a contest at Burning Hot. They have won three out of their last four, and they've been games under the line in th three of the four games. The Rams are ice cold down. They are coming off of a loss and two and two in their four games. You see that they are heavy favorites of 1.41 to 2.868, which translates to a line of minus 5.5 and over under set at 43.5. Dallas, though, is picked to win here by the score prediction 34-28, but the confidence in prediction is at low 40%. If you take a look at the power ranking indicator, both teams are on the upward trend. The Rams at plus 30 now, and the Cowboys at plus 26. The stability factor, the two teams consistently performing, uh, well, the Rams more so than Dallas. The Rams at plus 3 now, as it says here, and Dallas is down at minus one so they have not been very stable at all let's take a look at the trend in the money line let's see if there's been any kind of movement this is the rams money line you see it opened at 1.37 it got to 1.34 and it dipped as low as 1.45 but now it's at 1.41 so still a heavy favorite for the rams in the end i like the rams at home but i would not be surprised to see the cowboys cover and this game will go over the line Philadelphia and Arizona, the Eagles are the only undefeated team in the league thus far, and the score prediction has them winning in a by three touchdowns, 36-15, with confidence in prediction very high of almost 87%, and they have a very solid chance of winning this game at 69% to 31. Um, if you look at the line, it is a favor by uh, Philadelphia 1.41 to 2.868, which translated to a line of four and a half points on the road. Over under set at 48.5. Burning hot right now for the Eagles. As I said, they're 104. The Cardinals ice cold up. They're coming off of a win and they are 2-2 two two so far this season. If you look at the power ranking indicator, you see how the trend has been upward and then stable for Philadelphia at plus 27. And you see Arizona has been up and down and they are right now at plus 6. Okay, so if you look at this, the volatility, how stable the two teams have been. Philadelphia at plus four. They've pretty much done everything that has been expected. And Arizona is at plus one. In the end, I like Philadelphia to win. I would not be surprised to see the Cardinals cover, but Philadelphia in a game over the line. And we have one more we want to look at. Uh, Raiders and Chiefs. The Chiefs are... Uh, rising to the top of the league and once again coming off the loss, but they are three and one so far this season. They see their burning hot status while the Raiders are coming off of a win. They are just one and three and they are average status. Uh, the score prediction has all Chiefs 38 to 16 with confidence in prediction of about 65%. And you see, according to the calculations, the Chiefs have a 78% chance of winning this one. Um, the odds are heavily in favor of the Chiefs as well at home 1.3 to 3.46 which translates to more than a touchdown favorite at seven and a half points and over under of a high 51.5. But the Raiders have been involved in games over the line three of the four and the Chiefs two of the four. So it's a good indication this game could go over. Um, let's take a look at the power ranking indicator. The Raiders were at 31. They've dipped to plus nine seed and the Chiefs also on a dip from 31 to 22. The volatility oscillator, we see neither team has been particularly stable. They're uh, plus one for the Chiefs and zero for the Raiders. As far as the line goes, has there been much movement? Uh, not a whole lot. You see it opened at 1.3. It did 
go to 1.26, it's back down to 1.3, but still a very heavy favorite for the Chiefs. And I like the Chiefs to win this one. Before, I thought it may be over the line, but I'm kind of leaning under now at this point, so I think it will be the Chiefs to win and cover in a game under the line. All right, so there you have it. Uh, happy betting. Enjoy the games, and we will see you next time.